I have like 200 hours um, on my main character for Skyrim. And I so wish I could go back and play it. I fired it up just for laughs the other day, just because I... And the same thing happened. I got sucked right in the atmosphere of the game and the music, just everything about that game. I love. And I can't fucking play it. <laughs> it bums me out so bad. See, I guess what it is, I'm not sure if you've read up on, like, why... Why it actually runs like shit on PS3, from what, from what I can understand. I guess it's because, like, as you save... Um, throughout the game... Yeah, right. Yeah, I... As you save throughout the game, your save file just gets bigger and bigger. You know, like, you know, the game. Like, if you knock some guy's table furniture off, off from his table in his house, like, a hundred hours later, it's still gonna be strewn all over his kitchen because the game freaking keeps track of everything you do. So that's what, like, I think when I started off, you know, your save file is so many kilobytes or whatever, and I think the last time I checked my guys, save file for my main character was like 20 megs, 20 megabits, or something like crazy like that. And the PS3 just can't handle it. Yeah, I, I forget what I read. There was a lot of articles when all that shit went down, and what I can gather is because of how I, you know I'm not sure about like the PS3 slim version I don't know if that runs any better I still have the fat the fat black uh, 80 gig PS3 so that might be part of my problem if I switch to to a different console right the Xbox player but until I went through like five of those consoles because they build them in friggin' just garbage. Like I, I said, I'll never buy Microsoft ever again. I should have known better from the get go. I've always had PlayStation since PlayStation 1, and every one of the systems I've had still works fine to this day. It's unfortunate. Patience. I definitely, um, definitely had a good time, a good run with them. But... Like I knew it was all. I actually, I have an old. Not ready yet. <laughs> I wish I had a camera I could take a picture of right now. I still have the 360. My last 360 I have, I have laying right here in the corner of my room. I took a shotgun out and put buckshot through it. <laughs> I have the video somewhere, uh, either on my f my old phone or my old landlord's uh, cell phone. I took it out and put buckshot and slugs right through it, just because <laughs> that was the end of my end of my days with Microsoft. I do have uh, the good news is if you ever need to a bulletproof vest, um, an Xbox 360, the rounds did not penetrate. So I mean, if you're ever in a shotgun battle and you need <laughs> you need some armor, man, just grab a 360 real quick and protect your chest. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, they didn't go through. Uh, I don't recommend testing it, man, but I mean, if you still got a good system. But like shit, I'll even look at it again right now. No, they didn't go through. <laughs> the top of the system is all torn to shit, but on the bottom, no holes whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that, man. Jesus. <laughs> Disclaimer. Do not test <laughs> the bulletproof 
the bulletproof uh, aspects of your console. I... Such a brave soul. Someday, perhaps, when I'm rich. No, it's all good, man. I know there's a bit of a delay. Back in the glory days of Twitch, you used to be able to, it was like instant interaction. I think now it's like a 15 or so second delay. But definitely, man, if you, um, feel free to follow the channel, man, or even add me up on PSN. My PSN is um, Kingfish2009. All one word. Maybe you get Battlefield, maybe you can drag me back into it. <laughs> Embrace your power. Oh yeah. Are you not set up on online? Or you just don't bother playing it online? I wish I could do that. That's the thing, a lot of times you gotta weave through the shitheads uh, <laughs> in the online community, but uh, I'll say this at least, more often than not, I run into some pretty decent people. I'm just curious as well, um, did you find the stream? Patience. Yeah, you don't gotta be too wary, man. The great thing about, you know, about mean people, yeah. It's the great thing about Not ready gaming in this generation, man. You just, just hit that block button or that mute button. <laughs> it's the greatest invention ever. Uh, but all yeah, what I was saying. Um, I'm just curious. Did you find the stream on your PlayStation Twitch app, or did you find it uh, on my Twitter link? I tweeted the link out. I always use those hashtags and shit. Nations. Okay, no what? Okay, damn. You should have mentioned that. Okay. Yeah, I feel bad. Yet. You're down in Texas, if I remember right. I highly recommend you stay down in Texas where it's warm. God, you have no idea. You have no idea how bad the snow is up here this winter. I don't know if you watch Game of Thrones, but I feel like Jon Snow, like I'm stuck on the North Wall. <laughs> I'll never get out. Ready yet? Oh, 30 degrees. That's like friggin' driving with windows down weather up here at this point. I got up to go to work the other morning. I shit you not. 
the thermometer in my car hit negative 19. Not yet. 19 below zero. Yeah, you don't even want to know about a cold like that. Like, I'm... 19 below zero. Like, I'm looking at my dashboard going, what the fuck am I doing with my life? What? <laughs> the thing I don't understand? Yeah. Like, the thing I don't understand, like, I'm talking to my friends about this. And I go, who do we owe that we're still living here? Like, we've charted the globe, man. It's, it's 2015, we have the technology. <laughs> we know warmer places exist. <laughs> we know warmer places exist. There's no reason that humans have to live this way. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's where I'm at at this stage of the game. It gets so cold, you go out to start your car in the morning, and your your car doesn't even want to start. You hear th <laughs> we hear the machinery protesting as you try to start the car. And it's if the machinery doesn't want to start, I mean, you imagine what it does to, <laughs> to people. It just sucks. I mean, really. Summers here are the greatest thing ever. I mean, I compare, I live... I live in a pretty rural uh, area in Maine, and summers here, I compare, it's like living in the Shire. <laughs> if you watch Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, like, it's so beautiful. But then winter comes, and it's just a struggle. That's what I want. I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready for heat. Heat never really bothered me. I mean, I went on vacation to Cancun. And that never bothered me a bit. And even down to Mexico, that kind of heat never bothered me. I guess it comes from living here for 30 years of my life. I mean, I'm 30 now, and it's just, I'm over it thing I figure is like I was telling my friends the other day I don't want to ever die in a place where the ground is too frozen to put me in and like they have to put me on ice until <laughs> until the spring thaw yeah let's just save Eric and we'll put him in the fridge until until we can dig a hole for him <laughs> it's just messed up Yeah, a hundred and a little damn, yeah, I mean, that's pretty damn extreme. I'm so happy somebody from Twitter stopped by. God. Not yet. Somebody I'm actually. Yeah put, yeah, put me in the fridge. Put me on ice. More like launch me into the center of the sun. No, oh, it's all good. Oh damn, yeah, you gotta get that <laughs> you gotta get that taken care of. Some faulty electronics. 